For years, we've been looking for the easiest, fastest way to get live edits up to social media during the stream. And we've finally done it. We are doing multi-cam growing file live editing inside Premiere Pro in the cloud. And it's great because it uses the tools that your editors and ours already know, and they can do it from anywhere in the world. So whether you're looking to do it yourself or you want us to help, I'm going to show you the experience of doing single cam program edits, multi-cam live edits, and how VVCR ties this all together. Let's do it. VVCR is the hub of our streaming productions. And as you can see here, I have my program feed coming in. And later, I'll also use these couple of camera feeds as well. I'm using it to go to Facebook and YouTube, but I also want to create some social media clips. So I went to production here and added a vMix instance, but I've already done this for us. To access this production module, I'm going to go to my Parsec account and click on it inside Parsec. And don't worry, we set that all up for you. Once I'm inside Parsec, I'm actually accessing a remote Windows machine in the cloud. And the latency here is really good. I usually forget that I'm actually not using my own computer. I'll click on NDI tools and the studio monitor. Now I'm able to view my program feed. Now I'm going to click on record. And this is going to record the file to wherever I set my record path. Let's open up Premiere Pro and I'm going to go into my single cam bin and let's add it. So I will go to my single cam and right here I have, this is my latest one, so I'm going to click open. And as you can see, this is right where I started the recording. But now that I brought this into my source monitor, you'll realize that this doesn't behave like a normal file. You can see that the head here is moving as the file refreshes. I've set this as a refresh rate every 10 seconds, but it is refreshing constantly in the background and just showing up in Premiere every 10 seconds. And you can see the file keeps on growing. If I create a sequence from this clip, here you can see the end of it. But once that refreshes, all I need to do is click on the edge and drag it out. I'm going to be able to do this for as long as the file is recording. So now that I've done this, I'm going to pick an in and out point. Let's say that I really want to get this glass here, pouring, there we go, and the cheers. Awesome. All right, I want to export this for social media, so I'm going to export this just as I normally would. I'm going to export it, and I'll rename this uh, glass pour of cocktail. Awesome. And let's just say I uh, chose my export fast there. I'm going to export this. You can see this is gonna export really fast. Even though this is a short clip, this is a really powerful cloud machine. And now that I've exported it, all I need to do is upload it to Frame.io, Google Drive, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you need to let it go. And because this is a cloud computer, the upload speeds are extremely fast. Gigabit speeds, anytime. Well, that's cool, but what if I want to change an edit or cover up mistakes? That is where vMix comes in. Now, normally vMix would just be where we do graphics or do the streaming productions. We run entire streaming productions just out of vMix. But for now, I am going to actually use this to bring in my NDI sources. So I'll bring in a camera. This is the program here. And I will bring in another camera because why not? It's nice to have two cover cameras. And as you can see, these are all synced up here and ready to go. Now, all I need to do is use the multi-quarter function. So I'm going to click on settings here and enable all these for recording. I'm also going to enable record NDI in original format. And this just gets pretty automatic once you do it a few times. Now I'll click start and they're all recording at the same time. I'm going to minimize this and go back into Premiere. But now I want to go to my multicam. I'm going to add a few sources here. So let's go to my multicam records. And uh, as you can see here, I have these three that are recording in real time. That's just an extra file that I recorded earlier. Now I have all three here. So I'm going to right click on them and do a multi-camera source sequence. I'm going to sync them by time code and just call this multi-cam source here. I'm going to click okay. And I'm almost to the part where it gets pretty fun. I'm going to secondary click here and click on new sequence from clip. And now I'm going to enable multi-cam editing. Once I come here, you can see all three cameras in sync. 
And if I want to cover an edit, let's say I cut away in the program too soon, um, I am going to hit the three button and that makes a change over here. And there you go. All I wanna do here is let's bring it back to where it was. So I'm going to go to the multi-camera section here. Let's see, where it is it? Ah, there it is. And let's select camera one again. Awesome. Now that I've made that change, I'm going to click an out point and an in point. And just like before, I can add graphics if I want to, but I'm just going to use this for now. And let's export this as our multi-cam cam roll up. Awesome. And export it. And now that I'm done with that clip, if I wanna do more, all I need to do is click and drag this out. I can go into the multicam source and I can drag this out to real time. Every few seconds, it's going to keep growing the file. That's what growing file records means. So then once I'm here, if I want to make an edit here, I can play this, I can switch the camera, I can switch back. And now I have my next file that I can uh, trim an in and out point there. And this can go up to social media. So as long as your editor can keep up with real time, you're going to have the fastest edits possible. LiveX can set this all up for you as a managed service, or you can get your own VVCR account. Either way, contact us to learn more and get started.